This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Mile High Ambulance. The Emergency Medical Minute is excited to announce that we are now offering AMA, PRA, Category 1 credits. This is accessible through our online course modules that can be accessed at www.emergencymedicalminute.org backslash CME dash courses, or simply by clicking on the link in our show notes and creating an account. Okay, so we'll do a medical minute on opioids and pain control. Yay, what a surprise. Okay, so you have a patient who comes in and they take, let's say, a 100 mic fentanyl patch. They're on Dilaudid, uh, four milligrams, four times a day, uh, and they've got an acute injury. So how are you going to control this person's pain? A calming packet. Yes, Wusa, right? Yeah. Good again. <laughs> Uh, some ice, some t- tender love and care. Great. So there's a few things that we can use in patients who are opioid tolerant that are kind of go-tos that we should always talk about and think about. Uh, and there's a few ways that we can give them that are a lot more friendly for our nursing colleagues, namely you guys, right? So one is when people have that amount of opioid, they often have opioid-induced hyperalgesia. So their pain is much more difficult to control. And if you do want to hit the Dilaudid button, you just have to go big. So giving 0.5 of Dilaudid isn't going to do much. You really have to start with two, four, four milligrams, something else of that nature if you have someone who's on that much opioid, okay? Uh, what we like to do instead is you might give something like that, but then we also use other things that help with opioid-tolerant patients, especially as anti-hyperalgesics. And there's two categories of medicines that I really like to use in this patient population. Anyone have any ideas? Lidocaine is one, so we often IV lidocaine is good for antihyperalgesic properties. And then the other one, which is better for acute pain control, is ketamine, right? And ketamine, what's the thing that all nurses hate if we order IV ketamine? Because you're supposed to push it slowly, right? <laughs> if not, your patient gets in the K-hole, they say, oh, I hate that, you know, et cetera. It makes the patient feel weird. They say, never give it to me again. So how else can you give ketamine that's a lot more friendly and also very effective is you just put it in their mouth and have them drink it like Decadron. So you can give either 25 to 50 milligrams of ketamine orally, and it's slower absorbed, very well tolerated, and most importantly for you guys as nurses, you can be in and out of there in two minutes. You're not you're not sitting there pushing ketamine. So for those types of patients, you say, wow, this is a patient who either has severe pain, we've got opioids on board, you've got all your other multimodal analgesia, oral ketamine that you get just from the same ketamine valves that you push with uh, is another really good option for you to use for those types of patients. You can use that for kids too. And you know, you can use the dosage of 0.1 to 0.3 milligrams per kilogram. Make it easy. It's either 25 or 50 milligrams. And that's a nice, good starting dose for almost everyone. If they're a big boy or big gal, I start with 50. If they've never had it before, I start with 25. You can always give more. Uh, You just don't want to give too much and then have people feel really weird and disassociated. So remember, oral ketamine, it's a really good adjunct and easy on our nurses to give. We'd like to thank our sponsor, Health One Continental Division and Swedish Medical Center for their financial contributions to the EMM. Donations from them and listeners like you make it possible for us to fulfill our mission of producing and spreading free medical education to the masses. If you enjoy our show, please consider making a one-time or reoccurring donation to help cover our operational costs and keep the EMM awesome. Click on the link in our show notes to make a donation. Thank you for listening.